So there we go. All right. So Sunday night, six o'clock. Um, I am Tamara with our Big Oily family. And tonight we're talking about Douglas fir. We're going through the A to Z of essential oils. And that's what we're up to tonight. So um, I do have a little graphic I'm going to share on the screen. So, um, yeah, Douglas Fir only comes in the five milliliter bottle. Um, smells super, super yummy. Um, it is known for, it's called the oil of generational wisdom. There is no, you know how I usually start out reading from the uh, emotions and essential oils book? I don't, I have an older version, so I don't have it in it, but mom looked in her new one and she didn't have it in that either. So I had to do my research elsewhere on the emotional aspect of it. Um, but that's what it's known, of, known as, as the generational wisdom. Um, Douglas Fir helps us to tap into the experience of toxic generational patterns and knowledge offered. When we struggle to connect with our parents or grandparents or to see eye to eye, um, diffusing this oil during your meditation practice can help you release the distance or blocks you might have between you and build deeper relationships. At the same time, you can feel firm, grounded, and rooted in your own sense of self, because how often do we tend to lose ourselves and revert back to feeling like a five-year-old when, you, when, you, when you're with your family? Um, so that's what uh, the emotional aspects of the Douglas fir are. Um, it is sourced from evergreen trees in uh, New Zealand, and I do have a video that I will post the link to in the comments of the replay, um, because my machine tends not to like to play videos for you, the, the uh, words and the people talking tend to not, not match up. So I'll put the link in there to YouTube video. Um, so in New Zealand, Douglas fir is an invasive species. Um, it threatens the environment because it keeps other native plants from growing in the surrounding soil. It grows 25 times faster in New Zealand than it does here in North America. Um, the roots cause the ground around the trees to become barren, making it impossible for other native New Zealand plants to grow. It was originally brought to New Zealand for the lumber industry. So that's why it's there in the first place. Um, uh, uh, uh. And so what's nice about it is that it provides doTERRA a way to sustainably and responsibly source Douglas fir from New Zealand. So it helps them out and it helps us out at the same time, which is really nice. doTERRA works closely with New Zealand government to provide an environmentally friendly solution to a very serious problem by harvesting Douglas fir trees for the use of essential oil. I think they're harvested. They're harvested when they're young. They're not harvested when they're old. I'm going to say they're only a couple of years old when they do harvest them, so they don't let them get too big. So it's a lot easier. Um, they are steam distilled from the needles and the branches. The main constituents are beta pinene, alpha pinene, three carbene, and sabinine. So the chemical makeup of Douglas fir essential oil is rather unique because it combines beta pinene, which is a constituent found in lemon and lime essential oils, with monoterpenes that are commonly found in wood essential oils. This combination creates a distinct aroma similar to wood essential oils like frankincense, um, juniper berry, and cypress, while maintaining a nice citrus note. By combining these chemical components, the result is a woody, lemon-scented aroma that holds renewing and uplifting properties when you use it. A little bit of history, considered to be the classic Christmas tree, the Douglas fir was used by the Native, Amer uh, Native Americans in the Pacific Northwest to heal a variety of ailments. And a fun fact is that the Douglas fir tree gets its name from David Douglas, who was a famous Scottish botanist. However, the tree's scientific name, which is there on the screen, not sure how to pronounce that second word. I mean, I would say that it's like pseudo tsuga menzini, men, men, menzi. Anyway, that little name there, the uh, scientific name, was named after Archibald Menzies, which was one of Douglas's rival botanists. So they kind of named it after both of them. The top uses for Douglas fir are to support your airways and sinuses. You can apply topically to your chest or the bridge of your nose. You always want to dilute this oil because it can cause some skin sensitivities. For a cough, you could apply it topically diluted to your throat or chest, or you could put it in your diffuser. For mental fog, you could apply diluted topically to your temples or forehead, and you could put it in your diffuser. 
for muscle and joint soreness, you could massage, um, dilute it again. Topically, you could uh, mix it with wintergreen to the affected areas. For feeling down and tense, apply diluted topically to your temples, forehead, and back of neck, or you could, or you could diffuse to relax and ground yourself. For skin irritations, you could apply diluted topically to uh, your affected area. So if you had a moisturizer and you wanted to use that, um, your facial routine, that'd be really nice. To support skin cleansing and help lessen the appearance of cellulite, you could massage diluted topically with grapefruit essential oil to your desired areas. Douglas fir blends well with cedarwood, eucalyptus, frankincense, juniper berry, lavender, lemon, vetiver, wild orange, bergamot, and cinnamon. So you've got quite a few choices in the diffuser. Depending on your use for this oil, substitutes for Douglas fir may include white fir, peppermint, spearmint, eucalyptus, rosemary, or cypress essential oil. So depending on how what the desired outcome was, you could choose one of those two if you didn't have Douglas fir to use. Diffuser blend for uplifting your mood and helping you focus. You could mix two drops each of Douglas fir, wild orange, and lemon or bergamot in your diffuser. That would help you bring your focus into pinpoint accuracy. You can use this in a holiday room spray. So in a, probably, a, it didn't say the size of the bottle, but I'm gonna say probably a 12 ounce spray bottle. You could combine 15 drops of frankincense, 15 drops of grapefruit, 30 drops of Douglas fir, and then fill the rest of it with water, and then you can spritz it around the room. For a, another diffuser blend, blend that they call Brisk Walk, there were three drops each of Douglas fir and spearmint. It'd be really minty. For a pre-workout respiratory rub, you could mix one cup of extra virgin coconut oil and 10 drops each of peppermint, eucalyptus, and Douglas fir essential oils. You'd want to store that in a glass airtight container and you could rub it over your chest before you work out to um, open up your respiratory system. So if you use a fake Christmas tree, don't know who uses those, I love real Christmas trees. But if you do use a fake Christmas tree, you can make a fake Christmas tree spray. And that has, in an eight ounce glass spray bottle, you could add 20 drops of Douglas fir, five drops of white fir, and four drops of clove essential oils. You'd want to fill the rest with water, and then you could spritz your fake Christmas tree before decorating, or you could create the oil blend without the water. And then you could use um, one or two drops on a clay ornament and just hang it on your tree. I like that idea that it would spray the whole thing, because then you could always just add more of the essential oil mix to the clay ornament during the time it's up. And then they have an easy clear facial moisturizer. So over clean skin, you could add several drops of raw coconut oil and one drop of Douglas fir and then massage on, into your face and neck. That's pretty much all I have on the little thing here. Uh, so the key benefits, it promotes feelings of clear airways and easy breathing, cleansing and purifying to the skin. I know that Douglas fir is in our body wash, I believe the new body wash that's out, and the um, lotion, the, the moisturizing, boy, what is that called? The one that's in the little blue tub. Um, I know that Douglas Fir is in both of those. Promotes a positive mood and sense of focus. Body butter, that's what it is, in body butter. Um, so you can use it all three ways. You can use it aromatically, topically, um, and internally. Um, it can be used neat with no dilution, but I just always suggest using a little bit of a carrier oil with it. It makes it last longer, uh, makes it, uh, when you apply it topically, it will absorb better and you've lessened any chance of skin sensitivity you might have. So their essential oil tip says to combine one to two drops of wintergreen for a relaxing massage. So that's kind of the same thing for um, your sore muscles. You could use it that way too. So I am going to stop my share here and unmute. And Alaya, have you used Douglas fir? Oh, I've used it in the diffuser before. Mm -hmm. With with what? Um, I do not remember. It was during Christmas time. Okay. It came up on my iTovi scan. Oh, there you go. Yeah. But yeah, I like it. It smells really good. It does smell really very, good. very Christmassy, very, I guess, like piney. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. But that's it. Just diffuser.
Yeah. And I think that's about the only way I would use it is in the diffusion. And it was yeah. on Christmas time because I was trying different blends. <laughs> For nice. Christmasy blends. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but like I said, I do know that it's in the, um, I think there's uh, the body wash that doTERRA has and the body butter. I have the body butter and I really like it. It smells really good. It does. It does. And it's very uh, moisturizing and interesting. And they're soft and yummy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So next week is Elevation, which is one of the mood blends. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about Elevation next week, next Sunday, 6 o'clock. And um, if you're watching the recording, all of the recipes that I did will be in the comments below. And I will post the video link on um, the sourcing of uh, Douglas Fir in New Zealand that doTERRA put out. It's very interesting. So, yeah. Thank you for being here. And uh, I will see you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.